Have you been considering adding a Pomeranian to your family, but you're unsure on what they're really like? Well, in today's video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into how the Pomeranian is at home and around children to see if they could be the perfect canine companion for you. Welcome back to the Fenrir Pomeranian Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video and start with the Pomeranian's history to see if this can link to their temperament. The origins of the Pomeranian is not fully known. What we do know is that they have been developed from Spitz type dogs. They descended from large sled dogs to the cute small breed that we know and love today. They've always been very popular throughout time, especially in Europe. In face, they were a favorite of Queen Victoria's due to their loving temperament and small size. The Pomeranian has become one of the most popular choice for companion dogs from both the young and the elderly thanks to their loyalty and affectionate nature. The Pomeranian is a small but brave breed. They make fast attachments to their owners and will make a good watchdog. They're an intelligent and loyal breed and they're curious about the world surrounding them. However, the Pomeranian is a breed that thinks of itself as a much larger dog than it is. Without proper socialisation to the world around them and training in obedience and manners, they could lash out at dogs bigger than them if they feel threatened. They're a very vocal breed and will alert you to any unusual sights or sounds. However, the Pomeranian is a very clever breed and can be taught to only bark at intruders or unusual sounds, and not bark at sounds like cars or every other day noises. The Pomeranian is a strong-willed canine that needs a calm, consistent leader to look up to for guidance. Without this guidance, they will try and take charge. Pomeranians do love everyone in the family, but they do tend to create a strong bond with one particular member of the family. This is usually the person who feeds them and spends the most time with them. Pomeranians can be quite difficult to toilet train, so it's often the case with smaller breeds due to their small bladders. They struggle to hold it for long periods of time, but with a proper toilet training plan in mind, this can easily be remedied. I'd advise to make toilet training as easy and stress-free as possible. You create a plan that will not set your puppy up to fail. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know, if you're struggling with any kind of behavior with your dog, I have a completely free course called The Principles of Canine Behavior, where I boil down all of my experience, skill set, and knowledge as a canine behaviorist and some of the most important things that you need to know. Again, it is completely free. There'll be a link in the description box below if you are interested. And if you are, I can't wait to speak to you over there as well. Pomeranians form strong attachments to their family. This means that they can very easily suffer from separation anxiety. The Pomeranian is best suited to families that have someone around the home all day or if a member of the family is available to return home at points throughout the day. It's still important that you do teach your Pomeranian that it's okay to be left alone. Training your Pomeranian to deal with separation anxiety should start from the minute you bring your new puppy home. This can be achieved by first getting your puppy used to a crate. This can be done with crate games, for example, playing a game of fetch and throwing a ball or toy into the crate. Once your Pomeranian has a positive association with the crate, you can put them in there for a minute or so. Once they're comfortable with this after a few attempts, you can move on to the next stage. This is when you can start to close the crate door. After your puppy gets comfortable with this and stays in the crate without any crying or howling, you can very slowly increase the time left in the crate. This should never be a rushed process. Another good way to create positive association is by feeding all of your Pomeranian's food in the crate. Eventually, after some time and dedication, your Pomeranian should realise that being on their own is not as scary and that their owners will always return to them. If you don't show your Pomeranian that being left alone throughout the day for short periods of time is okay, they may turn to unwanted behaviours like digging, chewing, anxious pacing, howling and toileting in the house. Pomeranians are a feisty breed, but if they've been properly socialised and trained in obedience and manners, they will have no issues with other dogs and animals. One issue that you may find could be when you're out walking your Pomeranian. They sometimes forget how small they really are and will often try to show their braver side by playing with and causing mischief with dogs a lot bigger than them. They can also be suspicious of strangers if they've not been socialised well. 
Pomeranians are usually a friendly and loving canine that will become best friends with any children in the family. Although it's essential that you teach your children how to handle and treat them, as they are small dogs and can very easily get hurt during rough play. The Pomeranian is certainly a feisty, lovable and loyal canine companion. They're ideal for any family that can dedicate plenty of time to ensuring their Pomeranian becomes a calm, well-rounded and polite canine. They would make a great addition to any household, including apartments, thanks to their small size, and they will make for a great watchdog for your family and household. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Pomeranian videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Pomeranian Show.